cancer is the second leading cause of death, killing more than 9.6 million people worldwide last year. Of course, the term cancer is a little vague, as there are many different types of cancer. Let's take a look at some of the most deadly cancers we can experience. Of all the cancer types, lung cancer kills more people across the globe than any other type of cancer. In 2018, 2 million new cases of lung cancer were diagnosed, and of these, 1.8 million people died. Lung cancer is so lethal because most people do not even realize that they have lung cancer until it's already advanced to a more deadly stage. Of course, smoking accounts for 80% of all lung cancer cases, and your risk goes up the more you smoke and the longer you maintain your habit. But this doesn't mean you're safe just because you've never smoked. Breathing in toxic substances of any kind raises your risk too. Another notoriously deadly form of cancer is pancreatic cancer. Approximately 44,000 people are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer every year, and of these, at least 38,000 die. The pancreas is located deep in the back of the abdomen, which makes detecting pancreatic cancer a big problem. Too often, by the time the tumor is detected, the cancer has already spread beyond the initial site, making it more difficult to treat. Also, the symptoms of pancreatic cancer, such as abdominal or back pain, weight loss, lack of appetite, and even blood clots are pretty nonspecific, as they can be related to several common issues. Usually, the cancer has spread to your liver before you develop a telltale sign that something's not right and that pancreatic cancer is the culprit. Brain cancer may not be on your radar the way other types of cancer are, but you should know that it is one of the deadliest forms of cancer. This type of cancer occurs when there's an abnormal growth of cells in the brain. While this cancer can develop in the brain itself, it can also start in other organs, then travel to the brain via the bloodstream. The five-year relative survival rate following a diagnosis of a malignant brain tumor is only 34.9%. Unfortunately, the symptoms of a brain tumor, such as headaches, muscle weakness, and clumsiness, are so nonspecific, most people often do not know they have a serious disease. Another leading cause of cancer death in both men and women is colorectal cancer. An estimated 51,000 deaths will be attributed to colorectal cancer just this year. Almost all colorectal cancers start out as a benign colon polyp, which is a clump of cells that forms on the lining of your colon or rectum. Only 1 in 10 polyps will ever become a cancer, and it usually takes about 10 to 15 years for the cancer to form. Colonoscopies are the most powerful way to find and remove a polyp in order to avoid developing this deadly cancer. Of course, one of the most well-known types of cancer is breast cancer. While this particular type is the second leading cause of cancer death for women, men are also at risk. An estimated 42,260 people will die of breast cancer just this year. Your family history plays a big role here. If a family member has had ovarian or breast cancer, your risk increases. If the relative diagnosed developed breast cancer before the age of 50, your chances are even greater. Some cancers are harder to detect than others. Regardless, it's important to have discussions about tests with your doctor in order to minimize your chances of being caught off guard by one of these deadly diseases.